So here's the Volvo and there's a problem with the ABS. The sensor is here. This piece of metal, the ABS light is turning on. Might be one of the sensors that are broken. So the sensor is here and the cable goes in here and it comes out here. This is the cable. And I can follow it to this connector. It's possible to measure this up, so I put it at 2000 ohms because this should be around 1000. And if we connect these wires here, we should get a reading of around 1000. So that's pretty good. It's also possible to get a measurement of voltage from this when you're spinning the wheel. Let's see if I can spin the wheel. Yeah, it doesn't spin so well, but there is something coming from that thing. Anyway, <clears throat> let's do the other side. Same thing here. Sensor is here. And the wire comes up here. Here's the plug. So they're connected. And I don't get a measurement. It just says one here, so it means that it's really high the system. So if we go up on the scale here, so this side is probably broken, needs replacing. So the tricky part will be to get it off, because it's so rusty here. There's a screw here, and then you're supposed to loosen this screw. And then it's supposed to just come out, straight out. But I don't think it will be that easy. Like you can, it's like fused together. So I probably need to take everything off so I can get access to it and just yeah, hammer it out or drill it out to get the new one in. So I'm gonna take off the brake here, taking out the two screws in the back. There's one screw, and then there's a lower one. Now I just need to move out the whole brake caliper and it's a bit stuck. But it's coming out. loose now and there we go now I'm going to take off this bracket that holds the caliper there this whole thing is almost out
So I'm trying to take out the ABS sensor, but it's like breaking apart. Maybe that's good, I don't, I'm not sure. It seems to be like a small little hole here now, but it hasn't moved so much. It's hard to see the sensor, but it's, it's right here in the dark. Okay, so I got the back connector off and now I'm starting to hit this thing out through the front. I wish I could remove this, but I can't because I don't have this socket in here. It's too big, it's like 36, I only have like 32. The magnet is out. It's a magnet. Oh, there's a magnet behind it. Interesting. So this is the magnet that's inside the ABS. Uh. Oh, there's a coil here as well. Maybe that's what's making the, the signal. It's a big coil. Yeah, that's probably how it works. Oh yeah, I got it out. This is like the casing for the ABS sensor. It was the one that was stuck to the thing here, to the hole. So I think the hole is now clean. So I got my new ABS sensor, I plugged it in and wired it, same as the old one. And the problem is that it's here, new and shiny, but it doesn't fit in the hole, too small because there's so much rust and dirt so I need to make the hole bigger file it down or something I'm using a file here in the hole trying to make it bigger alright everything's back on and here is the new sensor and it's not even hitting anything but it's really close and the wire goes in there so this looks pretty nice now it's just a matter of testing this out make sure it works in the car and the ABS is actually doing something I just need to put this cap back on oh be quiet Yeah, it's something with the fan. I'm not sure why it's doing like that. Still no light, that's a good sign. Okay, let's do some brakes, brake testing here. Here's perfect strip. And the ABS is on. It's doing its thing. Let's do another brake test here. Maybe next straight bit here. Working awesome. So we definitely fixed that. We are soon ready for inspection. Get it road legal. I hope. <laughs>